We added up how much I've made in the last two years, and I said how much I have saved. I made well over a quarter mil last year, and I have 20 grand in savings. I've been essentially blowing it all. My name is Colin Bennett. I'm a directional driller for a directional drilling company in the oil industry. I never saw myself being in such a lucrative job in America. And the pay is a huge upside to what I do. I couldn't be happier about the pay. The hole that we end up drilling, let's say with a three mile lateral portion in the ground, the fracking is creating canals in each direction horizontally out from the lateral portion we drilled. They run casing or liner into that portion. What they do is they perforate that liner. And when they perforate it, it allows oil to flow into the hole we drilled to be pumped to the surface. And that is what fracking is. If you didn't have fracking, you would end up drilling many times more wells to get the same amount of oil. What I understand fracking fluid to be, it's a sand essentially that is blown out in each direction that creates those canals. The company I work for has developed a reputation of good directional drilling, doing good wells fast. That's why we're so successful up here. How much oil a day are you guys bringing up? Look, that's not the point while drilling. You're not making a conscious effort to actually extract the oil from the ground, you're just making the hole. Back in the old days, you're just drilling into that 30 feet, and that's it, straight hole. Well, now we can drill down hit that 30 foot zone and drill two miles in that pay zone. So you're getting a lot more oil with, I mean, honestly, less impact to the environment overall because it's one hole versus a hundred. Yeah, people are of the opinion that whatever fracking materials they're using are bad for the environment. I believe that's the big scare. I couldn't tell you much about it, to be honest with you. I grew up in Breckenridge, Colorado. My mother passed away when I was 16, and I moved with my father to Washington, who I didn't really know at the time. I, at 17, asked my dad, hey, would you sign the papers for me to go into the military? I just wanted to get away from everything, you know? And then in 2003, I ended up in the invasion of Iraq. While I was in the Middle East, a colleague of mine called me and said, hey, I work for this oil company. He said, well, how would you like a job in America? And I said, doing what? When we finish the well, we have a few days to prepare for the next well or to get away from the rig for a few days. Right now, I'm on a 20 on, 10 off schedule where I'll work for 20 days and I'm off for 10. I, I come to Vegas quite often. Recently, I've been coming a lot. This is like my third time in a month and a half, two months. I just figured it'd be a good way to get away and forget about things, move to Vegas, right? <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a bad time in Vegas. <laughs> The city never sleeps and you can like completely maximize my limited amount of time off. Like if I'm only off for a couple days, I can definitely fit a lot into a couple days in Las Vegas. My godfather, today's like you need to stop being a fucking pussy. You're calling goddamn Bennett. Ranger Green Beret fucking makes a fuck ton of money. Oh, I'm homeless bullshit. You can go get a fucking penthouse in any city you want. Go and fucking do it. <laughs> Nobody is ever gonna fucking look back when I die and say, Colin Bennett could have done it harder. What day is it today? Today is the 15th. I go back to work the 18th, and I should be off the 8th, so. What holiday is it? Today is Father's Day. Today 
this Father's Day. I was stationed in Germany for four years. I dated a German girl. And we ended up having my daughter three months before I went to Iraq. And I came back, got out of the army, and stayed there for a while with them, like three months after I was out, just hung, hanging out with my daughter and her. And then I came back to America. She came with me. And they're so family oriented in Germany that uh, she wasn't happy being away from her family. She lives in Germany with her mother. When in the military, if I was going through Germany or something, I'd be able to see her a couple times in a year, whereas there's other times uh, I only see her like once every year. Fuck. Like, you don't know how much I'm dreading, like, sitting in an office by myself. Like, I literally sit in an office by myself for 12 hours. And it, could you imagine, could you imagine doing that for 20 days with no contact with anyone? I'm not saying that I'm less happy with my job. I'm saying that the fact that I spend so much time alone at my job, I think is not conducive to me getting over a girl. Honestly, like, not to compare uh, losing a girlfriend to my mom, but like, I'm feeling some of the same things I felt there. <sighs> no, she killed herself. That's when I kind of went off the deep end and that's how I ended up in the military. The guy we're meeting, Mark, he's the initial guy who trained me. He's a gambler. Jesse moved me from working with Mark because it wasn't the healthiest work environment, you could say. It's a one, two, three, shoot. Fine. One, two, three, shoot. It's over. Oh. Two Honda. <laughs> I hate you. There we go. <laughs> Dude, this, this, was was a, this was a problem. Him and, I, him and I would get drunk and like bet $300 on one hand of rock, paper, scissors, sudden death. <laughs> All the town is is hotels and restaurants and then oil shops like for companies that work in the oil industry. Like pretty much anyone you meet at the bar is there for the same reason as you. I've shot the show with dudes at the bar, like, oh, what are you doing here? I work for this company. Where do you live? And it's never here. If they do, they move there for their job. North Dakota and Wyoming's unemployment rates are like 4% or lower when everyone lives there and working. It was two or three years ago, North Dakota had the most influx in millionaires in a year, just based off of overnight. this. Overnight. Like overnight. Some of them were pumped about it because they had wells drilled on their land, so they're fucking rich. Some of them are like, oh, you work in the oil industry? This town used to be a lot smaller and more quiet. I was just ordering uh, food at the Cadillac in Sydney. And this dude's like, you work in oil, huh? And I was like, oh, yes, sir, you yeah. know? He's like, got four wells on my land. I ain't never working again. And I was like, good for you, motherfucker. You have to be clean shaven at the rig. You can't have facial hair because of a gas mask. You can't seal around your face with facial hair. And uh, there's a threat of a gas called H2S up here that can kill you. So I'll shave when I go back to work. In five years, I see myself in the same job I'm in as a directional driller, working for the same company. I love the company I work for. I love all the guys I work for. Uh, I couldn't ask for a better boss. Um, as far as personal life, I, I don't know. That's, I guess that's along the lines of, it's not a regret, it's a concern. I, I don't know. Like, not to sound like a wimp, but it's, uh, it's fairly lonely. <laughs>